Hi, this is Whitespots. In this video we will show you how to implement API testing via a security proxy. First, you need written QA tests and access to the stage environment where the application will be tested. Of course, you will face problems, about which follows. First problem is that you need to access the private QA framework repository from CI pipelines. The second is that Zap must be integrated with security pipelines and Defect Dojo must be deployed and configured. Third, the test environment should be accessible from CI runners. Then a few more systems need to be added – OWASP Zap Proxy and Defect Dojo as a defect management system. Zap will find vulnerabilities. Pipelines will send them to Defect Dojo, where vulnerabilities will be deduplicated. That's it! In essence, the requirements are quite simple. First, QA tests are written. Second, Defect Dojo deployed and configured. Third, security pipelines cloned and configured. Fourth, network access granted. A. From GitLab runners to the test environment, and B from GitLab runners to Defect Dojo. Links to the guides from points 2 and 3 can be found in the video description. And now a short demonstration. To set up a security proxy, first, SSH private key must be added to the environment variable in the GitLab group where the repository pipelines are located. Second, the public key must be added to the profile settings in the code storage system where the testing framework resides. The system can be any – GitHub, Bitbucket or other. Third, set variables highlighted in red rectangle – host, port and repository address of the framework with tests. In the previous stage we downloaded the framework with the tests and in this one we will run it. This step will be different in your case as you may have alternative approaches to running tests. In our case the tests are run via PyTest. The particular test is specified with the QA autotests name variable and the proxy address and port are passed with the QA autotests proxy for the bug variable. This allows us to run tests which access the test environment via the security proxy, which is a WASP zap. The security scan itself is run on line 94 in the zapscan.py script. The zap analyzes the traffic, looks for vulnerabilities and reports findings to the previously deployed and configured defect dojo. Because it runs in service mode, see lines 84 through 87, once the pipeline is complete, zap is minimized and does not burden your systems. This is how findings exported from security pipelines into defect dojo look like. And here's what zap pipeline looks like itself. That's it! Now you know how to integrate security scanners into your QA testing process. If you have any question regarding this exact integration or any question related to application security, you can find our contacts in the description section. Thank you for your attention! Bye!